Hi everyone, we are the Kintai family and we are the Unintentional Tour Guides. Today our travels are taking us to central Pennsylvania for a chocolate factory tour. If you didn't know, Pennsylvania is the snack capital of the world and there are eight chocolate companies in central Pennsylvania alone. This is because of all the dairy farms out here in central Pennsylvania. We are starting out our day at the Blair Candy Company in Altoona, PA. They are a bulk candy store. This is kind of like a Sam's Club for candy. You can buy candy by weight in large quantities like box packages together. And they do have some individual items for sale. If you want to stop by and check it out, they're open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday only. Next up on our candy tour is Boyer Candy Company. It's right down the street from Blair Candy, so it took us no more than five minutes to get there. Boyer Candies are the folks who make Mallow Cups, among other candies. Their factory where they make all of their candy is right here in Altoona, PA. Unfortunately, there is no factory tour, but they do have a small outlet store that is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturdays and 11 to 4 on Sundays. The store itself is pretty small as you can see, but the candy is always fresh and very good. They sell their Jimmy Sticks, Mallow Cups, Smoothies, Peanut Butter Cups, and so much more inside of this store. The Boyer Company started with the Boyer Brothers. They started in their mother's kitchen. They were trying to earn some income during the Great Depression. They started by selling fudge door to door, and their fudge became very successful, and with their success, they needed to expand their product line. They wanted to do chocolate covered marshmallows, but after several failed attempts, the boy's mother, Emily, suggested that they make candies in cupcake papers. So that way the marshmallows actually didn't need to set up completely. They just needed the chocolate to set into a cup. This led to the first Mallow Cups, which are a chocolate cup with a gooey marshmallow center. They opened their factory here in Altoona, PA in 1936. They quickly followed with their other filled cup candies. They have been featured on Food Network shows like Unwrapped. Inside of the store, as you can see here, there is a free claw machine, which is actually pretty cool. You press a black button and it allows you to play for a free Milo cup. You can see here Ian's playing to try to win himself a free piece of candy to munch on while we're walking around the store. As the candy grew in popularity, they started putting what was called play money into their candies. In each candy, there is a coin card with a value from five cents to a dollar. Consumers could collect them and trade them in for free candy. While this is still actually in effect today, um, it's not quite the same. We were opening up our Jimmy Sticks from the Boyer Candy Company and we discovered them inside of our packages. Today you don't get free candy with them, which is the difference. Today you can trade them in for merchandise like watches, hats, shirts, and all sorts of other things. Or it does say if you do want to use them for candy, they do give you a coupon that you can use on chocolate. Our third stop today is Gardner's Candy Incorporated. The original candy store is Tyrone, PA, which is where we're headed right now, but there are actually nine other locations, and uh, you can find them all over the place in malls, among other things. It's about a 25-minute drive away from Altoona. 
Here we are, we're at Gardner's Candy Store in Tyrone, PA. This is the original one that we're at right now. As you can see, they have all sorts of candy spread out all over the store. You actually can get candy filled trays, baskets, and collector's tins, and they'll be willing to send these to you anywhere. Um, if you want to send them home or if you want to send them as a gift to somebody else. And if you want to send them as a gift, they will actually gift wrap them for free for you. Gardner's Candies was founded in 1897 by a 16-year-old boy named James Gardner from Tyrone, PA. He started out with a very little store, and as his business grew, he added a horse-drawn wagon so he could sell his candies, popcorn, and peanuts at local fairs and carnivals. Of course, over the years, they've gotten more popular and their business has grown even more. Today, they have 10 retail stores in the world. They are famous for having the original peanut butter melt away. And even though many people have tried to replicate this recipe, nobody has been able to match that original peanut butter melt away. So if you want to go over to Gardner's, that would be a candy to check out. As we're walking through the store here, you can see we're coming into a little museum that is attached to the back of the store. As we go through here, you can notice that there's all sorts of artifacts and things showing how the candy industry and how gardeners has changed over the years. Now on the other side of this museum, there's actually an ice cream parlor. We were not able to go into the ice cream parlor. It was closed while we were there, but it would definitely be something to check out if you get a chance to. have the penny candies there's actually a pinball machine it's a quarter to play and you win gumballs from it we both played Ian and I did Ian won three gumballs from the machine and I won two there's many tennis balls that can be shot down as well instead of gumballs and if you happen to win one of these mini tennis balls you can trade it in at the counter for a two ounce chocolate bar which is a pretty neat uh, thing that they do there our last stop of the day is Hershey Chocolate World in Hershey, PA. It's about a two hour drive from Tyrone, but again, the drive is so pretty through the central part of the state. As you can see here, it's really not a bad ride. Here we are at Hershey's Chocolate World. Now, it wasn't super busy the day that we were there, so we were able to park very close to the doors. However, it does get very busy over the summer and on weekends, so you'll have to park pretty far out. Don't worry about that though, they do have a shuttle service that can take you up to the uh, main entrance so you don't have to walk all the way out from your car and they will shuttle you back out that way as well. There's currently a lot of construction going on as you can see. We can't wait to see what's going on. There's not a lot of signage right now as to what will be going in where all that construction is, but we'll happily update you guys once we are aware of what's going on with that. Today you can take a tour of the city of Hershey on a trolley. These trolleys are based on the traditional trolleys from Milton Hershey's day. The price of the trolley back then was 10 cents, which happened to be the same price as a chocolate bar. Today it is $15.95 for adults, $12.95 for children, and under two are free. They also do special trolley tours throughout the year like trick or treat trolleys and the holly jolly trolleys. You can get tickets for that at the Hershey Chocolate World. Lots of 
activities that you can do here at Chocolate World. Of course, I mentioned earlier the trolleys. There's also a chocolate tasting experience. They have a 4D movie called The Chocolate Mystery. And they also have a create your own candy bar attraction. All of these things that you can see here, you can get in different packages in different ways. And there is the attractions desk right through the front doors so you can take care of stuff like that. There's also an amusement park. You probably have heard of the Hershey Amusement Park. However, it was March whenever we went and it wasn't open yet. When Milton Hershey was looking for a place to put his chocolate factory, he decided on Central Pennsylvania for a few reasons. He decided to put it here because of the easy access to the railroads and the abundance of dairy farms here in Central PA. His factory opened in Central Pennsylvania in 1903, and by 1907 he began to be known for his chocolates, starting with the Hershey Kiss. The foil wrapper that makes the iconic Kiss today wasn't added until 1924 though. His company began to expand and so did the town outside his chocolate factory. Milton Hershey actually built the homes, the parks, the schools, the public transportation, and most of the infrastructure that today makes up Hershey. This was all done for his employees to help make their lives better. He also gave each of his uh, employees a candy bar with each of their pays. While this sounds delicious, it was actually to make the employees sick of chocolate so that way they would not be tempted to eat any while they were working on the line. A similar thing happened in World War II. Milton Hershey was a very charitable man, obviously, and he decided to help out the troops by donating chocolate bars for the GIs that came in every single meal. They were called the Ration D bars and the Tropical Chocolate Bars. Similar thing happened, they got so sick of eating the chocolate that the GIs would save their chocolate from their meals and pass them out to children that they would encounter while they were in Europe. Now, in our opinion, you can't go to Hershey's Chocolate Wild without stopping and riding their factory ride. This ride was recently renovated and is super fun for the whole family. You can see as we're walking through the queue line here, it's pretty long. This actually all can fill up, and there's even another room that we didn't even have to go into. They had it closed off. So just be aware of that, that it can be a long wait, but it is a fun ride to go through if you get a chance to do it. They actually now take your picture in front of a green screen part way through the line to help keep you something to do and they have stuff as you can see here all over the walls that you can read and learn while you are going through the ride. Once you get down to the ride there's a spinning floor that you have to cross to get into your candy themed carts. From there you'll get, be given a narrated tour on how they make candy in their factory. There's a song throughout the ride by these cute little cows that you can see a picture of and at the end of the ride they offer you a picture book. Um, and deals for the pictures that they took of you in the line earlier. Now as you are exiting the ride, they do hand you a free piece of candy. From experience, they change the candy almost daily. But uh, while we were there, we received a triple chocolate crunch bar that you can see a picture of here. Of course, Chocolate World has all sorts of sections for their actual candy. Now the candy floor is huge and is actually broken down by each individual type of candy that they have. They have a section for Reese's, a section for Twizzlers, a section for Hershey Kisses, a section for candy bars. They're all out there and they're all separate. And you can find just about every variation of your favorite Hershey's product. And you may find out that you have some favorite candies or favorite other foods that you didn't even know were hot owned by the Hershey company. Of course it was also Easter time whenever we were walking through so you can see that there's a lot of different Easter candies and other Easter variations of their candies are out as well.
They do have a cafeteria here in Hershey's Chocolate World. However, there's not a lot of seating, so just keep that in mind before you decide to stop in here and grab a bite to eat. If you just want to grab something quick, though, they do offer milkshakes um, and snacks at a little coffee shop that they have here that are all Hershey themed. But of course, if you want to eat, eat, they do have real regular food and you can find some seats although they are a few and far between. While we were there we actually grabbed a little bottle of what they called cocoa juice. It was from the actual cocoa fruit. It's different. If you're adventurous I recommend you try it. It's unique. watching everyone if you liked our videos click the like button below and subscribe for more Pennsylvania tours have a sweet day everyone